All right, good day, guys. Good day to you all. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. You know, see a young ball at the pan move, you know. See, so we have to crawl out of our shell, you know, people. We have to crawl out of our shell. See, a young baller is on the move. Um, Massive news drop yesterday, you know, people. Massive, massive news drop yesterday. One of them earthquake news there, you know, people. Trust me, man. When it drop, you know, man, the place is shaking, you know, man. See, when I first saw the news, you know, man, yo, it, it lit me for six, you know, man. When I see it, I was, yo, me, I said, whoa. What is seen? What is this? I mean, for starters, we knew that Tyreek McGee was coming to the end of his contract in Cassiope Pen. Um, but we expected for that development to take place, you know, later on in the summer. You know, we never expected it to have taken place at this particular time. Don't quote me on this. I, I don't know this for a fact. I suspect, and this is my opinion, I suspect that the deal with Cassio Pen might have been terminated. More than likely, they must say, you know, I'm not going to feature for the rest of the season. My contract has come to an end. A club in the USL want me. No, just, just make me leave. Seeing common sense tells me that that is probably what might would have happened. See, but that's entirely speculation. That's entirely my opinion. Nothing wrong with a little speculation here and there, as long as it is done responsibly. We see speculation are going by even the biggest of networks. See, so, you know, little speculation not going to kill nobody, as long as it's done responsibly. But I suspect that that might have been the case. But anyways, yeah, people, boy, the, the, the young star up on the move, you know, Young ball at the pan move and they see the banner at the end of your screen. Terry Maggie transfer move. Good or bad? Question mark, question mark, question mark. You saw the, the video that we played earlier. Right? You saw the caption. To start enjoying it again. That was the caption, ladies and gentlemen. To start enjoying it again. Seen, um, is this a good move? Is this a bad move? In my humble opinion, and, and for starters, for those of you who have not heard the news, Tyreek Maggi has left the Belgian Pro League and is on his way to the Colorado Springs switchbacks in the USL, the American Second Division. Um, a lot of Jamaicans at the US are at the Colorado Springs switchbacks. Holy for them, uh, uh, you know, like you have ever hear like the name of the place, Little London, <laughs> Colorado Springs switchbacks is like Little Jamaica. Seeing a ton load of Jamaican players there, you have the likes of um Devon Speedy Williams, which I know is a good friend of Tyreek McGee. I also would not be surprised if Speedy had something to do with this as well. They are very good friends, seeing former roommates at previous. Gold Cups, if I'm not mistaken, as well. So, if I'm not mistaken, that 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 be the case as well. So, you know, they're very good friends, and um, a whole lot of other Jamaicans are there, man. A whole Malik Foster, for instance, is another Jamaican. They have a number of them there at the Colorado Springs switchbacks. A number of them would have made a move in the last transfer window to the Colorado Springs. Switchbacks, you know, we did a video talking about that a while ago. Um, honestly, I don't think it is a bad move, but there probably were better moves out there to have been made. But Menaga, not the move, it's, it's not a bad move. Seeing a lot of people of style, the USL and love going like say the USL are some kind of joke league, you know, and it is not right, some decent leather roll in the USL and it it is it, it's a respectable level of competition i believe that the USL is on par with with quite a number of first divisions in Europe a lot of people might disagree with me but that's okay mere people all style the USL say the USL is not even on the level of the JPL what utter nonsense utter rubbish 
right? Utter, utter nonsense. You have Champions League winners, past former Champions League winners that are playing in the USL. Players that have experience in top five leagues in Europe right now are playing in the USL. Seeing so it is a decent level of competition. I would not, I, what I have a problem with is young players that leave Jamaica and go to the USA. Like, for instance, uh, Christopher Pearson. I did not approve of that move per se. Seeing? Because when it comes to development of young talent in terms of working on the technical ability of players, I don't think that the USL is the best place for that. Seeing? So like a person who left Jamaica as a teenager went to the USL, that me never so really so me never happy with that they moved the personally seen. But a Maggie was gone to Europe where I think development of technical ability, you know, that our Jamaican young players desperately need. Europe is a much better, much better environment to facilitate said development. And for Maggie, he left Jamaica young as a teenager, went to Europe, received that development. Now Tyreek McGee's career needs a jump start. Seeing? This is not how we expected McGee's career to turn out. Yes, I know. True. Right? Especially when he got moved up to the first team, we expected that it would be only a matter of time before he was heavily involved in the thick of things. The sad reality of the matter is it has not gone according to plan. The season, this season started brightly for him. He was featuring heavily in a number of the initial games in like the first seven, eight, nine, ten games of the season. He made a number of appearances. And then I don't know where the wheels fell off. Well, we know where the wheels fell off. I don't know why the wheels fell off. But the wheels fell off. It never turned out the way that many of us would have hoped it would have. And his career needs a jump start now. That's facts. He went to Europe. He received the highest level of development. We're talking about the Belgian Pro League, right? We're talking about the jurisdiction of Belgium, which is a jurisdiction renowned for developing young talent. He received that, right? Now he needs to work on his muscle memory. He needs to get game time, right? He needs to sharpen that muscle memory. He needs minutes. This player is lacking in professional minutes. He is lacking in big boy ball game, big man ball game minutes. He does not have a lot of it. He is he has some catching up to do where that is concerned, right? The USL should give him that. I don't expect to see Tyreek McGee going to I expect for see the ball or Godian a ball. I expect for God I expect for seeing Godian a star it up. Seeing? And I think he will do just that. He needs minutes. He craves minutes. He, he desperately craves minutes, right? I believe that the USL, the level of the USL, is a decent place to go and get his career jump started. I honestly believe that his career needs that particular jump start. Seeing it's a one-year deal. Well, it's not even a one-year deal. It's a, it's a deal for a couple of months. It runs through the end of the season, so he's not going to be there for very long either. If the plan is for the baller to go to the Colorado Springs switchbacks, get minutes, star it up, have a very impressive season, then try and make another move to Europe. If that is the plan, I am all on board. What I don't want to see this player do is to go to the USL, get comfortable, one-year contract, turn two-year contract, two-year contract, turn three-year contract, and before you know it, Ball has spent his entire career in the USA. I humbly believe Tyreek McGee is better than that. That is where this deal would go sour for me personally. But if it's just to go there, jumpstart his career, get things going right now, get his career off the ground right now, get those minutes that he desperately craves right now. I don't have a problem with the move. Better moves that could have been made, yes, but I don't think that this is a bad move for the player. The USL level is a level, is a, is a decent level of football, man. 
And I think it's a level of football that will give him sufficient enough challenge and sharpen his muscle memory, get him those minutes that he desperately craves. Hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think of this particular move. I'm going to read this on your screen quickly for you guys. And this is what the Colorado Springs switchbacks said about this particular move. I'm going to give you my geese take and then the, the spring switchbacks take, right? Um, the Colorado Springs switchback FC announced today it had acquired midfielder Tyreek McGee for the 2023 season, formerly of Cassio Penn in the Belgian Pro League. This move is pending league and federation approval. This is McGee being quoted. I am I'm excited to be in Colorado Springs with the switchbacks this season, said McGee. I'm excited to use my qualities to help make the team better, right? This is the head coach now being quoted. And it's on your screen, ladies and gentlemen. Tyreek McGee is a young player who has played at the top level in Belgium, said head coach Stephen Hogan. He is coming back to the States to hopefully make a statement. His work ethic and ambition for his career got us interested in him. He is a very creative player with great vision and awareness. I'm excited to see him progress here and contribute to our success. At least the coach has a very good understanding of what type of player he's dealing with. So clearly, if I were betting money, he was brought to the switchbacks to do exactly that, you know, be that creative spark and not necessarily to be that workhorse that apparently Cassie Upen wanted him to be. Another plus for Tyreek McGee, he should feel at home because of the amount of Jamaicans that are there. Um, the Shane Beckford is there. Right, Speed is there, Romara Williams is there, Malik Foster is there. A number of Jamaicans are there. He should feel at home, he should feel comfortable. And we have seen Tyreek Maggie go up against far better teams and do very well than what he will go up against in the USL. So I'm expecting him to go there to relax, right? To get down to business and to star things up. We expect nothing less baller. Again, hit me up in the comment section and let me know what you think about the transfer move. Take care, stay safe, and until next time.